Hey, hey, everybody. Are your money rules keeping you from making more money? Think about that for a minute. Do you even know that you have money rules? And what are you going to do to eliminate them? They're literally sabotaging you from making more money. I am Rebecca Matthias, the founder and creator of the School of Feminine Fortune. And I am here today for our live training. Super, super excited to be here with you. We're going to be talking about how to beat your own unique money drama. Where are your individual money rules? And how you can transform your beliefs to start making more money. And what do you need to do to lose your money drama? So, I would love to see your comments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer questions. The training will last for approximately 20 minutes. And I'm going to help you understand how you can increase your sales as well. Um, if you are working and you are an entrepreneur, you are absolutely selling. So, uh, super, super excited to share all of this information with you. This is a game-changing live training for you today. You can literally walk out today from this training having shifted your money beliefs and make more sales. So get excited and get ready because your energy has a lot to do with the results that you do or do not get. Every morning you wake up, today's Monday, you, you wake up and you have whatever energy you decide to bring into the day with you. Sometimes you don't always wake up on your A game. You don't always wake up feeling phenomenal and awesome and energetic and so on. So what can you do to increase your energy, to shift yourself into that positive mindset? Uh, or one of my favorite mentors likes to call it a beautiful state, Tony Robbins. So first and foremost, if you are new to this kind of information, you might not have ever even have thought that you have a money rule and you do. You have lots of money rules. So let's just uncover what those are for you. So if you're available to do this, you can get a paper and a pencil and start writing things down. So um, I grew up with a subconscious money belief that every time money would come in, I would, I would think, oh my gosh, you know, that's it. There's no more money. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, that's a money belief. The money rules are more like a couple of years ago, I uncovered that I had a money rule that in order to reach millionaire status, you have to be perfectly healthy and your perfect weight and your perfect size. And for every person that's different. Okay. So that's my money rule. I'm not projecting anything. And I would strongly encourage you to do the same when you're uncovering your money rules, not to project them on other people but to really claim them, claim them for yourself and see how they're being of service to you or how they're not being of service to you. And so um, I had um, a belief about the, the money roll, okay? So the, we'll go with the money roll first and then we'll go back to the belief because this is how you can eliminate all of your money drama. But when I had the money roll that you had to be at your perfect weight in order to be really wealthy, I was talking with a colleague of mine and there was a person in the industry and I was like, well, how is he so rich if he's so, and she was like, what? And I said, overweight. And she goes, because he doesn't have a rule about money that you have to be at a certain weight in order to have a lot of money and you do. So it was an unconscious thing. So I had to learn how to heal that and transform that. So first thing that you can do, whether it's a money rule or a money belief, is you can take a chart. There's five columns. And the first column is what is the belief or the rule that you have? And then ask yourself, is it true? Is it really 100% true? And in the second column, you flip it around to be the opposite. So for me, that money belief around every time money comes in, my subconscious brain, because of the way that I was brought up, will be like, oh my gosh, that's it, there's no more. And so I have to transform it. And the funny thing is, is that even after I've gotten through this scarcity mindset stuff and in survival mode stuff, that belief will still come up, even though there's plenty of money in the bank. So don't think that just because you get a different result that you will overcome the belief. You may still have to work with that part of yourself that's the conditioned part of yourself, the conditioned brain, that neural pathway is still in your brain and you will need to begin 
creating a new neural pathway with a new belief that's a true belief, and then you will find that things begin transforming so much more quickly and things start happening so much more quickly and it becomes easier for you, okay? So <clears throat> second column, you're gonna flip it around, right? So maybe the belief is that there's more than enough money. Uh, there's always money coming in and money, money going out or money comes in and goes out in increasing quantities. Money comes in in increasing quantities. Um, I am a channel for money. There's all kinds of different affirmations that you can create here. But affirmations don't work just by themselves because you can say whatever you want up here, but there's a rejecting neuron that will happen, right? So you need to integrate it physiologically. And what I'm telling you to do in this chart will allow you to begin to integrate things physiologically and you will begin to transform your entire circumstances. So most everything happens in between the temples, right? Thoughts become things. And so if your thoughts a.k.a. your beliefs and your rules about money are not positive or constricting or scarcity or from someone else. More than likely, they're not even your own beliefs and thoughts. They are from someone else. Then your outer circumstances will reflect that. Everything that you see as far as we call stuff, your house, your car, your lover, <laughs> your, um, your clothes, everything that you have, is a outward representation of your consciousness. So it's really interesting to look at like different neighborhoods. There is a collective consciousness of poverty or wealth. And if you start going throughout your day like this, you'll begin to see exactly what I'm talking about. So the third column is your mind is like a Google search engine. So if you think about it, and I always tell the story, it's really funny. About 14 years ago, this is creepy, 14, 15 years ago, I was pregnant with my first child who was getting ready to turn 14, and um, I needed a new car because my car broke down, and I wanted to get a Ford Explorer SUV. So because it was my first pregnancy, I really didn't know many people who were pregnant. I think I knew maybe one other person who was pregnant. Sure enough, not too long after, I was looking at what car did I want, and then I, wa I knew I wanted this Ford Explorer SUV. Everywhere I would drive or go, I would see pregnant people and Ford Explorer SUVs. <laughs> and so this is proof that what you look for will appear to you. In fact, I was at a conference, it was at the Tony Robbins conference last year, and he had us look around the room. There were about 2,000, 3,000 people there. And... He said, look for any, look for the color navy blue. And so we're looking, you know, we're all looking around and we're, you know, looking for the people wearing the color navy blue and, and those sorts of things. And he said, now, don't look around, but how many people did you see wearing red? Well, we weren't looking for that. So, you know, you, you get what you look for. So begin to look for richness. Begin to look for riches in every area of your life. You do not have to have any money in the bank to look for richness. Back years ago when I was in oodles of credit card debt, I would sit outside in my backyard and I would feel the richness of the sunshine. I would feel the richness of being present with nature. So there are so many different ways that you can begin to focus on and enhance the riches in your life. And when you continue to do this, you will begin to become a, an attraction magnet for more richness in your life in all different forms. So staying open to possibility and miraculousness. And I promise you, if you do this for a week and you can come back and post on my page, I would love to hear your comments or direct message me personally and hear what the results are. If you are diligent in this practice for one week, you will dramatically see a different outcome in what you see with your physical eyes. So go ahead and start looking for proof, okay? So another money belief I had was rich people are snotty. So I had to start looking for where rich people were generous. And when I started doing that, I was able to transform that belief very quickly. And that money drama... <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so strong, right? Like these things that we've grown up with, the conditionings that we've had, it's so much easier to just be brought up in a home where being wealthy and 
being generous is normal, right? Instead of having to learn and to overcome that maybe you have a belief that if you have something that you're taking something away from someone else, right? There's just enough. Money is a renewable resource. Time is not. Time is actually an illusion. But money and time are the two hottest commodities, right? And so you really want to pay attention to all of those stigmas and all of those beliefs. Money is a really charged topic for people. So if you have money drama in your life, which shows up like not enough money, uh, self-denial, self-betrayal, not being able to say yes to your desires or investing in yourself, putting yourself last. These are all forms of money drama that you might not even think of as money drama, but I can assure you it's money drama. And the way out of this is to utilize this chart and to really be looking at what am I believing? Is it really even true or am I carrying on someone else's belief? And then looking at where's the proof? Where's the proof for this? And then do something to anchor it in physiologically, okay? So whether that's dancing to a song that has you make, has you feeling expansive and, and wonderful, or the example that I gave you, sitting out in nature, maybe even journaling, how you are feeling rich today. There's an exercise that we do in the School of Feminine Fortune where we journal out every day, every day. Today I feel rich because, and you can fill in the blank. So you, you, you don't even need anything to do this. You can do this on your own. You can type it in your computer. Again, what you're focusing on will expand. So paying attention to what that is for you. Um, so let's see here. Okay, the money drama. So you're going to let go of the money drama this way. Noticing how it shows up for you, that's going to be a, a way to accelerate if you start writing this down, so often women have so much going on up here and they never write it down. And what happens when you never write it down is it feels overwhelming. It feels bigger than it really is. Um, you have to get into reality with what is actually happening. Years ago, I was in a dysfunctional marriage that I was very unhappy in. And the universe, of course, steps in when you don't listen to the taps on the shoulder. And so the universe stepped in in a really big way and made it crystal clear that this relationship was over forever. And it was actually a welcomed divorce because I had not left sooner because I was terrified that I couldn't take care of myself financially. Here I was, a grown adult with two children and truly wasn't financially independent. And it was terrifying to me, um, which is what kept me trapped in an unhappy marriage. And so when I first became financially independent, number one is I was completely adamant that I was not moving my children out of the house that they grew up in. I was committed wholeheartedly to creating a tremendous amount of stability for them, given the circumstances. And so in those first couple of months, I had all kinds of terror thoughts coming up in my head, right? Talk about money drama. It was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to pay the mortgage? How am I going to do this? How am I going to pay for Christmas presents? How am I going to do all these kinds of things? And I had to really work on my mindset and my money rules and my money drama in order to get out of and get into gratitude and appreciation. And so every morning and every day, I spent a lot of time moving myself energetically into a state of appreciation for my present moment circumstances. What I was in drama about wasn't even happening. It was in the future. And so a lot of times women will get into spinning when it comes to time and money and they will end up creating the circumstances that they don't want to have happen. And so I would sit there and I would say, I am so grateful for all of my bills being paid on time right now. And I have more than enough money in the bank for everything that, that I desire. So that was true. Okay. That was true. The drama was what was not true. So it's really important for you to pay attention to what is actually true here and not be available for your own baloney, your own bullshit. <laughs> That's what I say. Call yourself out on your own BS. Okay. So this is going to be what gets you very quickly and whatever mantra you have to say and whatever action steps you have to take and whatever Whatever thoughts you have to purposefully think, if you have to write them on a big giant piece of paper with a big beautiful marker, then do so. And so for me, 
all day, every day, I would be like, I replaced out with faith. I replaced out with faith. I replaced out with faith. And month after month, I had more than enough money and it began to accumulate and increase. And that totally transformed everything for me. I tripled my income in that first year of being financially independent for the first time in my life ever in my 30s. And I realized in hindsight that when a woman has her own money in the bank, she makes very different decisions. And I know that if I had had money in the bank um, and had financial independence all those years ago, I probably would have left the marriage a lot sooner. Um, so think about what that is for you and what you need to do. Another exercise that I give my clients is to wake up every morning um, check your bank balance in the morning and find three things to be grateful for. You, it could be something as simple, even if you get triggered and you're like, oh my God, I have all these bills to pay and I don't know where the money's going to come to pay for all of them. Even if you have that happen, look at, look at what can you appreciate? What can you feel grateful for? And something as simple as like, it's super cool that you can go on an iPhone and use your thumbprint and you're immediately able to see your bank balance. Like, Back in the day when I was a little girl growing up, my mother had to get in the car and drive to the bank and wait in line, um, you know, throw in some bad weather in there. You know, there's all kinds of obstacles that existed a long time ago that are not are not present today. So what can you be present for today? So this is how you're going to transform your money beliefs. And then the other thing that you can do is to, how do you want to make more money? Quickly, today, right? You want to have a cash infusion today? Here's how. Get a paper and a pencil, or I really encourage people to do this with paper and pencil. Um, I'm gonna, let me see if I can show you. You know, I have like big, big giant um, papers with markers and all of that stuff. So, um, you know, you can, you can totally like, see that <laughs> what I'm doing here is every week I'm mapping out the week. If you need to do it by the day, you can do it by the day. So that's going to dramatically transform, get the technology set back up, um, that's going to dramatically transform what you're focused on. So for me, I have some big energy and I need to have big pieces of paper and markers and get it all out in front of me because again, even though the subconscious belief doesn't exist, I'll start thinking like, oh, this, 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 and this, and th th that's it, the money, there, you know, there's no money opportunities this week. So are you looking for money opportunities? So what you will do on a weekly basis is get a big piece of sticky paper like I just showed you, and you'll write on that, what is your money goal for the week? A lot of people will set a money goal for the month, but they never break it down. You have to break it down, okay? So many people will be like, oh, I want to make, you know, $100,000 or I want to break into six figures this year. And it's like, well, do you even know how much that is per month? 90% of people that I talk to that say that, they don't even know that that's over 8 k per month. So if you don't know the breakdown, you've got a problem right, right away. So we want to fix that for you. Okay, we're doing that right now. You're getting action and results immediately right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to write it out, whatever that goal is. Is it $2,000 for this week? Is it $10,000 for this week? Is it $1,000 for this week? There's no right or wrong. Do what's right for you because here's the thing. If you have never made more than $3,000 in a week, you can't go to ten grand. There's going to be a gap there. You have to break the gap, right? So you have to take the steps. It's, I'm not saying you're not going to get there, but you have to take the steps to get there, okay? This is how we're going to do it. So put your money goal at the top and draw a triangle like you just saw. Um, that is from Mike Dooley's book called Leveraging the Universe. It's an exercise that he created, and so I like to give him credit. On the left-hand side, you're going to write down what are you going to do to get to that money goal this week. And on the on the other side, you're going to write down what do you want the universe to do, okay? So back when I was really, really terrified about being financially independent for the first time, I did this triangle exercise. I've been doing this triangle exercise for a long time, and it works. And one of, one of the things that I wrote on the universe's side of the triangle was bring old clients to me, former clients, not old clients, but former clients, um, you know, and I was going to take all these other efforts and so on. Well, I went to bed and the next day I woke up in the morning and I had a former client who had sent me an email and she said, Rebecca, I've got a project I'm working on 
and I know I need your help in order to achieve the results that I want to get. How much are your 90 day coaching packages? And okay, here I'm paying in full. Okay. So that's pretty cool. The universe can deliver really fast. If you're in alignment, right? If your thoughts are in alignment, if your money rules are in alignment and you're transforming those money rules and your talk, your words, every thought and every word is a prayer. Okay. And so you want to also be paying attention to how are you talking to yourself? Like you're not going to go meet your money goal this week. If you're like, Oh my God, you're so stupid. How come you made this mistake? Or, you know, nobody cares for you. Nobody's going to buy your crap. You're not valuable. Like all of that out the window. You got to let it go. That's all money drama. Okay. Um, so anyway, so after you create this triangle chart and the number that you are looking to bring in this week broken down in service to your greater goals, right? Like we're still at the beginning of the year here, so I'm sure you had a money goal for 2017. Well, break it down. What What is it per month? And then what is it per week? And then a lot of times people don't think to do this, but... If your money goal for January was $5,000 and you only made $1,000, you have to readjust the next 11 months, okay? And a lot of people don't think to do that. So if your money goal, we'll just use easy numbers here, okay? If your money goal is $50,000, um, well, let's just say $60,000, okay? $5,000 a month. And you only did $1,000 for January. It doesn't mean that February has to be $9,000. You can spread that loss out, okay, the goal that you didn't meet, you can spread it out over the rest of the 11 months for, for the next 11 months and do it that way. Then it doesn't feel as overwhelming. So maybe I don't have a cal calculator and I'm not a mathematician in my head. So maybe it's like $5,333 per month instead of, you know, oh no, oh no, now I have 9,000. I got to make this up and it feels overwhelming. You're setting yourself up for failure, which is a form of self-sabotage. So anyhow, then what you're going to do is every day when you journal, I have my clients in the Your Own Money course in the School of Feminine Fortune, they will journal every day their Think and Grow Rich statement. If you haven't read that book and you want to make more money, go get the book. You can read it for free online even um, through a PDF. But anyhow, the Think and Grow Rich statement is essentially like, I create and receive X amount of dollars by X date. I give blank service or product in exchange for having this money come to me and I always find a way to victory, I'm a happy, healthy, wealthy millionaire, like whatever you want to say um, that's going to energize you and, and you speak it out loud two times per day. So the other thing, again, the mind needs proof, okay? So on your in your journal, you're going to write out your Think and Grow Rich statement two times per day. You're going to read it aloud two times per day and get super, super excited. You might even have some music in the background. Um, you might even record it and listen to it and speak it out loud every single day in GarageBand or some other technology that you can use for that. That makes it fun and exciting and whatever you can do to ramp up the energy and the appreciation. So then you're going to write below that every day, what are the opportunities for making money in service to my weekly goal today? Right? Who can you reach out to? Can you make phone calls? Can you ask people for referrals? Can you call former clients to see how they're doing and see how you might be of service to them? There's so many different things that you can do to make money this week, today, 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 today. I want to hear from you. I want to hear um, how you made money, what you tried, what you didn't try, what worked, what didn't work. Um, post your comments and your questions in the box in the comment box, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. Now, here's what's going to happen. Um, when you start pursuing different money opportunities, you, they might not all come into fruition, okay? But here's what's going to happen. A lot of things are going to just pop, okay? So, basically... You're going to have unexpected things happening because you're putting forth the energy and the effort towards opening up your money channels. So you definitely are going to want to do these exercises. It's going to help you eliminate your money drama. It's going to open up the different money channels. And I absolutely want to hear from you this week how it goes. When you do what I tell you to do in this training, I can assure you that you're going to make more money. 
And if you are looking to become a master at sales, then I invite you to take advantage of this very special opportunity for the next 24 hours only to get the sales mastery course in the School of Feminine Fortune at half price for only $750, which is amazing. In addition, you get 12 group Q&A trainings and calls with me where I'll answer your questions live about money, about sales, about all of these things. This course is normally $1,500, but today you can get it for just $750. In order to take advantage of doing that, you want to go to RebeccaMatthias.com forward slash sales 50. This will dramatically change your money situation. And this is an opportunity for you to say yes to yourself. So go to RebeccaMatthias.com forward slash sales 50 and you will get the course for just $750. You're going to get 11 workbooks, 11 video trainings, and 11 guided meditations. And in 12 weeks, you will be a completely different person making a lot more money. Have an awesome rest of your day, everybody.